What does a research ethics committee review? All research with people must be reviewed and approved by a research ethics committee before it starts. The committee reviews each research protocol considering seven main points. First, its social value. The possibilities of generating knowledge to improve people's health and well-being. Second, the scientific validity of the research. If its methodology is sound, if it will produce valid knowledge that can be generalized, if it is feasible to conduct. Third, if the selection of participants is fair, if the inclusion and exclusion criteria are determined by scientific considerations, and to minimize risks and maximize benefits, if there are special protections for those who are vulnerable, and if the distribution of burdens and benefits is fair. Fourth, the risk-benefit balance. What physical, psychological, social, and economic risks are the participants exposed to? if these were minimized, and whether the potential benefits to society and individuals outweigh the risks. Fifth, community engagement. How will communities' priorities and concerns be considered? What are the plans to engage them in the study? Sixth, the informed consent process. The committee ensures that people are given clear and complete information so they can decide freely whether to participate. Finally, respect for participants is considered. If their safety, well-being, and the confidentiality of their information is guaranteed. If they can withdraw whenever they want. What medical care will be offered during and after finalizing the study. And if they'll receive any new information and the results of the study. Research ethics review is not as easy as simply going through a checklist. Committees deliberate considering these points on a case-by-case -case basis to ensure that each study is conducted ethically and that participants are protected always.